Alrighty, everybody. So I know the, the game isn't looking that much better. We've added like a little button there and a bottle that we already saw last time. But what I'm doing right now is I'm doing what's called gray boxing. And I'm not really working a lot on the graphics. We're trying to, I'm trying to get the code working properly. So for instance, you're going to be able to go into the bakery and pick up stuff at the bakery. But I want you to be able to understand what you're picking up. So for instance, I crafted this bottle with my own two hands and filled it with the poison it contains. Now granted, that won't be in the game. I use this bottle because I had this bottle. I didn't want to start creating assets until I'm done. But you'll also have these guys over here, which are little info boxes. So they'll be scattered around town and you'll be able to just click on them. Scattered around town, you'll find info boxes like this one. They will give you more information about the events of Crystal Knock. And, you know, that way you can learn more and more as you want. I think I actually ended up on the second floor, though. That's a bug. Uh, in the game while you play. So I was going to have these appear when you show up to areas, and I still might do that. And these beams won't be here either. These are just de debugging things. But I like the idea of having to come up to an area that you can't interact with, because you can't interact with a building. It would be weird to click on it. So anyway, things are coming along nicely. I know stuff's super ugly still, and it bothers me in my soul that it's super ugly, but... I want to make sure that before I start doing a lot of work on graphics, we have all everything working and everything is gray boxed. So, um, thank you so much for watching to the end. Comment, post, ask questions, message me if you think there's something that needs to be different. You don't want to say it publicly. And uh, thanks for uh, for tuning in. I appreciate it. Bye.